The world will never forgive me if I don't share this recipe. Today, I share with you my version of milky donut with a twist. As you all know, I always bring to you a healthier version of everything. Just keep watching. Let me show you how to make healthy milky donuts with this juicy vegetable and egg filling. Without much ado, let's dive right in. In a mixing bowl, add in one tablespoon of yeast, one third a cup of sugar, and half a tablespoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Then we come in with two cups of warm water. When you are using yeast, make sure you always use warm water. We stir this to dissolve well. And once the yeast is well dissolved, we come in with half a cup of melted margarine. We stir that in well and then we add in four cups of all-purpose flour. Then we come in with two tablespoons of milk flavor. If you don't have milk flavor, you can go in with some powdered milk. Then using the hands, we gently mix till everything comes together to form a soft and sticky dough. We generously flour our work surface and then we transfer the dough onto the work surface. We equally add in some flour on top of the dough and then we begin to knead the dough. I actually kneaded this dough for about 8 minutes and this is the consistency we are going for. Not too soft, not too strong, yet stretchy. So at this point, we add in a little oil in our bowl and then using a brush, we brush the oil around and then we add in our dough into the bowl. At this point, we cover and let the yeast proof for 45 minutes. Let's proceed to make our vegetable filling. In a bowl, we add in some chopped cucumbers, some onions, some tomatoes, and lastly, some boiled and chopped eggs. Then, we proceed to season with some freshly ground white pepper. You can use black pepper as well. We come in with two tablespoons of mayonnaise and some lemon juice. Then we stir everything to combine well. If you have a sweet tooth, you can choose to add in a little sugar. And our juicy filling is ready. See how beautiful it looks. The colors are popping. So at this point, we set aside our filling and back to our dough. It's been 45 minutes and as you can see, our dough is well risen. So we punch to take out the excess air and we gently flour our work surface and transfer our dough onto the work surface. So at this point, we need for about 30 seconds just to take out any excess air. Then we proceed to cut out the dough into our desired sizes. We lightly flour our work surface and a tray. This is the most important part of this recipe, so pay attention. So we grab a portion each of the dough and then we stretch open just as you can see. And then we add in our filling in the middle and we proceed to close it up. 
If you don't close it up properly, it's going to open up in the oil. So as you can see, you press properly to close up the dough and then we roll it around and make it to be smooth. Look at that. So we set that aside and we proceed to we are able to fill and wrap all the dough. Let's do it one more time. And we are done rolling as easy as that so we cover these bad boys and we let them rise for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes we proceed to fry so at this point we proceed to heat up some oil remember we are frying on medium low heat And once they turn golden brown, just like this, we take them out of the oil and place on an absorbent paper towel to take out any excess oil. See how delicious they look. Guys, don't you think this video deserves a thumbs up? Hit that like button below to support this video. And to make this snack extra special for children, we put them on skewers, just like this. Are you considering making this for your child's birthday? I think it's a good idea. Please, if it's your first time stopping by here, hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful family where we share amazing recipes and weight loss tips and if you have watched up to this point why don't you leave a beautiful comment in the comment section and the moment of truth has come let's give it a taste oh my god the combination of the fluffy dough and the juicy filling is just out of this world guys give this recipe a try and i assure you you will keep doing this over and over and over thanks so much for watching stay blessed bye bye